Today, we will be discussing the importance of biosecurity in the management of commercial swine facilities. Biosecurity is often deemed a cornerstone of successful swine production due to its fundamental role in herd health and performance. The prevention and control of disease is vital in commercial swine operations in order to maximize profit through optimal production efficiency and also minimal exposure to pathogens. Though it is virtually impossible to keep every type of pathogen out of a herd, commercial operations can significantly reduce production losses due to infection and disease by utilizing proper management practices. Ideally, swine operations should be located at least one mile from each other. To minimize exposure and contamination, the farm should be located off of low traffic roads. The entire production complex is fenced with barbed wire or chain link fencing to prevent other animals, humans, and, and vehicles from entering the property without proper authorization. The individual facilities are also surrounded by fences to further limit potential sources of contamination to the swine herd. It is critical that facility employees shower in before entering the swine buildings in order to prevent the spread of contaminants to the herd. Staff must also wear farm-specific clothing and boots that remain on site at all times so that pathogens are not brought into or out of the facility. The procedure for delivering market hogs incorporates transfer stations, which act as neutral locations for the transfer of pigs from one truck to another. At this location, a contract hauler picks up the pigs to transport them to a packing plant without ever needing to enter the operation. This process serves to reduce the contact of the swine facility trucks with vehicles from other pig farms. This picture shows an intermediate pen inside of a transfer station. When a truck returns to the facility, a thorough disinfecting procedure is performed before contact with the herd is allowed. The manure and bedding is swept out and all panels are removed and cleaned thoroughly. Every component of the truck is sprayed with a power washer and then disinfected and allowed to dry. A common style of production is known as the all-in, all-out system, in which the swine operation moves pigs of the same age at the same time. Each facility is thoroughly disinfected between each group, accompanied by a period of 7 to 10 days of downtime to prevent the passage of disease from one group to the next, and therefore decreasing the overall incidence of disease. This mode of production also maximizes performance of the pigs by improving feed efficiency and decreasing days to the market, and simplifies management since the operation is able to tailor the environmental conditions, diet, and labor to the needs of each particular group. New animals should be tested for appropriate important diseases such as pseudorabies, or PRV, transmissible gastroenteritis, or TGE, brucellosis, and porcine respiratory and reproductive syndrome, or PERS, among others, prior to entering the operation. Once they have been tested, incoming stock should be quarantined for at least 30 days before being admitted into the herd. This isolation period shows the new animals to show signs of any diseases they may be harboring, while also giving the farm staff the opportunity to properly vaccinate and medicate the animals to prepare them for entry into the herd. Sick pigs should be isolated from the rest of the herd in a sick pen. This prevents herd contact and potential disease transmission. Postmortem examinations may be beneficial in providing health information in situations if a disease problem is suspected in the herd. In conclusion, biosecurity is a critical component of any commercial swine management program. Through careful management of facilities, as well as proper herd supervision and care, Pathogen and disease exposure may be minimized, ultimately leading to optimal growth and efficiency of the herd.